Until recently, at no point in my life did I believe that I could be happy all the time. So naturally, when good things happened, I wondered when it would end. And if it didn't end, I would somehow find a way to make it end myself. And this happened both consciously and subconsciously. Now, if this is something you've experienced. You might have asked yourself the same question I did. Why did I do this? The truth is my self-sabotaging behaviors were automated programs that I learned and developed from when I was a kid. So what do I do to stop these patterns and limit them from coming up at the worst moments in my life? I'm Thomas Edwards, creator and author of The One Up Effect, helping you have fun becoming your best self through purpose, play, passion, and performance. In this video today, I'm gonna share with you the number one cause of self-sabotage and how to overcome it. Self-sabotage happens when we consciously or subconsciously mess up areas of our lives that negatively impact our physical, mental, and our emotional well-being. Conscious self-sabotage may be purposefully stopping a habit that we've tried to create or we've already created. For example, you may have gone to the gym for 21 days straight or done some type of exercise and you purposefully today decide that you don't want to do it. So you don't. Unconscious self-sabotage is basically replaying programs that we've had since our childhood. Remember back when we were kids and we were in school and we waited until the last minute to do a project or a report? I mean, this is something that I did religiously and it impacted my ability to actually do the best job I could because I was doing it at the last minute on purpose. Now, common signs of self-sabotage include perfectionism, imposter syndrome, narcissistic adaptations, procrastination, infidelity, discarding a relationship that shows promise, directing energy into distractions, limiting engagement in a relationship, emotional or comfort eating, and self-medicating. Now the places where self-sabotage shows up the most are in our health, wealth, and relationships. I personally believe that the number one cause of self-sabotage is actually through not only fear of failure, but also fear of success. And both really limit us from experiencing our fullest potential. At work, this could look like being in line for a really good promotion and not doing the last thing necessary to get there, or maybe even thinking about what your colleagues may think about you if you were to get that promotion and doing something to get in the way of it, even knowing that you actually deserve that promotion. In health, it could be staying up all night, watching Netflix, knowing that you need a good night's sleep for a big day you have. In relationships, it could be choosing to stay with someone who isn't willing to commit. Or maybe you actually find that person, you feel, man, this is too good. And so you do things to create distance and separation from that person. So how do you overcome these self-sabotaging behaviors? The only way that I've found that's been the most consistent is by practicing integrity meaning doing what you say. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video and I wanna let you know that I have a presentation on how to make life a game that you can win and have fun playing. And if you want free access to it, you can click the link below in the description or you can wait until the end of this video or you can directly go to thomasedwardsjr.com slash webinar and you can watch it there. Now this is an ever evolving practice, but really what this means is focusing on being in integrity with yourself. And for me, the best way I've found to practice being in integrity with myself is by having a list of things that I commit to doing every single day and showing up and doing them to the best of my ability. Now what I add on top of this is being able to track it. And over time, I'm able to see if I'm doing something that's getting in the way of my success or even sabotaging it. And when I see this, it's very likely that I'm not being in integrity with myself and maybe even other people. And when I'm able to show up and do the things that I'm committed to doing every single day, which then allows me to be consistent in my behavior, both internally and externally with myself and other people, this limits the likelihood of those self-sabotaging behaviors from coming out, particularly at the worst of times, but most especially when things are really good. And it allows me to not just be happy more often, but actually stay happy more often. But this is what I think 
Comment below, let me know what you think. What are some of your self-sabotaging behaviors? And where do you feel like it comes from? Is it from a fear of failure or even a fear of success? Are you even aware that there is such a thing as a fear of success? Do you have a daily practice that allows you to be in integrity with yourself? How do you feel about the idea of being in integrity with yourself? Are you? And how does this affect how you show up every day with the things that are important to you, particularly your health, your wealth, and your relationships? Comment below. I hope you found that video fun and useful. And if you want to get that free presentation on how to make life a game that you can win and have fun playing, click the link below. And if you want to watch another video that's fun and useful, click the link right over here. Go ahead, it's right there. Click it. I'll see you there.